I am going to demonstrate how to do wit on wit watercolor. So first what I did was I got a plexiglass sheet and a paper that I had, watercolor paper, I soaked it completely and then I got it on there. The plexiglass is so that it doesn't move while I'm working. Then I got dabs of tube watercolor Put it in some little plates that, that these are nice because they're stackable and then I put three tablespoons of water and I stirred them. I did that ahead of time so I'm not wasting your time. Then while the paper is still wet I go and I just squiggle some paint on. The reason I did that versus going on a um, from the dry pad is I can control the deepness of the color. Sometimes a little bit of the other color dabs through, that's okay. We're gonna be mixing them anyway. And this is going, and I can tilt this to make the colors blend into rainbow. I'm just covering the whole sheet with colors. Simple as that. And I am letting the paper and the water, because it is watercolor, blend the colors. The next step, I use what they call an elephant ear sponge. This elephant ear sponge is found in craft shops and it came from a large natural sponge that they cut up into an elephant ear size. I soak it completely, then I squeeze it out as good as I can. Once I got as much water out as I can, I checked my paper and when the paper look that I had previous that was completely soaked uh, is losing its sheen but it's still wet, I go there and I say, oh, what do I think it looks like? And uh, then once I decide what I want to paint, then I'll start drawing with my elephant ear sponge. So here goes. So I, right now I am continuing with just doing, unifying the picture and see how much fun it is. I'm letting the bristles of the brush separate so that I can get the fur of the kitty cat. See that?
I can use the rigor brush and where it needs some spots, I can do some spotting. And don't get too carried away because if you do, it looks kind of strange. There we go. 